Now, these are the first place winners of USC's reclaimed runway, Bluff River, River Bluff High School. We have students Autumn Burham and Lauren Gwynn who created Morning Routine. The dress is called Sunshine, and it's made of recycled newspaper from the student library, handcrafted sprayed roses, and used Chick-fil-A bags. It's modeled by Jay. And Morning Joe is the suit modeled by Ashley. It's also made of recycled newspaper from the student library, handcrafted red sprayed roses, used coffee filters, and a reclaimed jacket and shorts. The morning routine outfit started as a simple school project. Then they created these, and um, just to show how much trash we have just in the morning. Jean Faith New Orleans is proud to have Christine uh, modeling her design called Coffee, Tea, or Fashion. The dress is made of 217 tea bags and 85 coffee filters contributed by her well-caffeinated friends over the country. <laughs> As packages of filters arrived over several months, they all need to be dried, emptied, and prepared for being machined and hand-sewn to a tie-dyed old muslin base. The, the belt is made of hot coffee sleeves, and Jean poured 96 hours into creating this. This is Erica, and she's modeling a motion a creation by Elaine Ellison. Now, you might recognize these as Walmart shopping bags and bicycle tubes. You know, shopping bags are too easy to come by and too hard to get rid of. They're nearly indestructible, which is why they wreak havoc in our landfills and oceans. Good news, though, they make really beautiful dresses. It took about 25 hours for her to create this. Teresa Wrench created this next dress called Phoenix that's modeled by Nicole. The garment made from leftover scraps from a rubber rug liner, a roll of plastic landscaping mesh, some business file folders, soda can tabs, and a discarded sh uh, plastic shower curtain. That was inspired by her award-winning Phoenix Lantern that symbolizes her hope that we're changing our perspective on the use of non-migratable products. And this dress took 60 hours to make over a period of about 12 weeks. How cool. Susan Lentz is the artist behind this called the Class of 1949. It's modeled by Lucretia. Now these are yearbook photos that are fused to discarded fabric and yarn, a used painter's stir stick, recycled mat board thread. When she first completed the dress, she posted it on Facebook and she uh, got some, some, aunts, some things about lack of diversity. So as a result, the Black Lives Matter fan was added because as Susan puts it, this slogan is true and needs all the attention it can get. This next piece is also by Susan and appropriately called the Red Carpet Dress, modeled by Sierra. Now this is made with discarded floor covering from the 2018 Philadelphia Music on Museum of Art craft show. And it has artificial flowers from cemetery dumpsters. <laughs> I love that. Cords, grommets, and thread. We all know the significance of the red carpet, but very few of us know the significance of cemetery dumpsters. <laughs> Again, Susan, with yet another trash and piece. This is You Are My Sunshine, and it's modeled by Claire. It's made with large plastic bags from the custom uh, picture framing industry. Also artificial flowers from cemetery dumpsters. The dress was inspired from an outdoor wedding and you, Susan used a lot of the remnants from the wedding. Yarn, elastic, discarded foam centered board, interfacing that was used as an aisle, and tule that was decorated the seating. 
And it, guess what it features? Artificial cemetery dumpster flowers. <laughs> Jennifer Pine Gillum then uh, created Coco and Violin. Coco and Violin here. Modeled by Shamari. Was inspired by the consummate designer Coco Chanel. This ensemble references, in a playful way, the timeless classic style that defines Chanel. Recycled billboard vinyl, nylon window screens, aluminum twist ties are used to create this quirky yet elegant design. It's a bold creation by multimedia artist B.A. Homan. It's made of cast off black and white items such as car uh, charcoal facial wipes, a discarded vinyl window shade, bra and bathing suit inserts, felt packing materials, pieces of a dismantled storage unit, vinyl records and drywall patching material, and it goes on, repurposed window treatment facings and assorted plastic washers and lids to create a trash in the honors of the geometric elements of the Art Deco style. <laughs> Next up, this is Ellery, and she's modeling plastic color by Tap's own Tabitha Odd. The dress is made from plastic bags and aluminum cans. Years of collecting bags from friends and family and a variety of colors to make this design. The accessories are composed of post-consumer plastic like toys, containers, medical lids, and they're made by Tabitha in the studio right here at Tabs. Most of the pieces are hand cut, sanded, and actually treated like precious stones. And the real housewives of Crystal Pines are back this year. That is a group of eight fun-loving neighborhood friends with different backgrounds who inspire each other. And they created this Much I'll Do About Fashion. And it's modeled by Trish, who is one of the neighbors. Yeah. They all recycled the mulch plastic bags and the shrink wrap that comes around a pallet and that orange pine straw bale twine when they're sprucing up the yards in the neighborhood. Now, normally you throw that stuff away. But no, not the Real Housewives of Crystal Pines. They make a beautiful dress out of it. Now, they made this over approximately 15 lunches, brunches, and work sessions, and they assure me that no gossip was used. <laughs> Marcy Mug... Marcy Musgrove. I <laughs> created Tiffany Blue, and it's actually modeled by Tiffany. She used Target and Publix plastic shopping bags, a large black plastic trash bag that makes up the skirt. She found a large white plastic seed bag. She likes bags. And then at the dump, and she painted teal. That's the top right there. The hat is created from repurposed felt and black mesh bags that held decorative rocks. And over four months went into creating this piece. This is Danny here, and she's wearing a Verna Witt uh, original called Bamboo Rhapsody. It's a reference to Queen's Bohemian Rhapsody. It's made of repurposed bamboo placemats, recycled packing paper for glassware, and rubber lining for the utensil roll. She's a former textile designer. She's intrigued by the combination of using hard rigid bamboo and soft paper and pliable rubber. It took well over 24 hours and three weeks to create this piece here. Really nice. Woo! Starting that stuff now. We have a collaboration here between Kim Kim Foster, Sandy Foster, and Diana Jones. It's modeled by Naida, and together they uh, designed and created Growth Spur. Now, this is made mostly from uh, discarded planting soil bags. The bodice was made from woven plastic shopping bags and faced with repurposed felt for comfort. A neck and shoulder adornment was created from plastic bottle caps and held together with fishing line. And then a discarded lampshade was used to form a crinoline to support the skirt. Growth spurt took about 25 hours over about a three week period to create. Next 
we have our only male uh, artist here. This is Mel, this uh, modeling last straw, a creation by Tom Chin. We love Tom. Made from recycled plastic straws, tapes, chicken wire, plastic netting, and newspapers. It all started with the collecting of straws, in fact, we gave them some, that had been getting a lot of attention lately. Many restaurants are going back to paper straws. Some servers even ask if you want them now. The plan with this dress was in Tom's head for a long time, just like she took off her head there. <laughs> but being the notorious procrastinator he is, he made this in about a little over 10 hours over a two week period. Amazing. This is Rondlin. She's modeling uh, Deco Pecamere Lewis's Bright Like a Diamond, and it is. It's made of heavy duty plastic wrap, a plastic carton seal, red bag clips, and recycled thread. The heavy duty plastic wrap is part of packaging for her fabric orders that she's been saving for a while. And the carton seals and red bag clips are part of a community endeavor that she uh, used to create the details in this. Really stunning. It's another deco piece right here. It's called Shine on Me and it's modeled by Al. It's made from decorative netting and black plastic grocery bags. She saves up recyclable ways to create wearable art pieces with a little bit of help from her friends, and I, I think we've helped her too. This is a Flavia Lavatelli creation. Uh, she's a multimedia artist and, and she calls this not so blind. It's modeled by Octavia. And this trash and piece is made with recycled plastic mini blinds that she took down from our house. This <laughs> is her house. The, the circles that you see are cut or die cut from the plastic blinds. The sleeves were actually unfurled loofahs. Can you believe that? This piece took about 42 hours and a span of about six months. I was there. <laughs> Flavia did this too. She calls it Circle the Strain. This modeled by Christine. This is interesting. It's made with recycled Starbucks brand Keurig K cup filters. Now the circles are actually filters that only come in Starbucks brand. It's intended to froth the coffee. It's one more piece of added plastic for you. Uh, Flavia has been collecting these fil filters for three years. And we finally found a company that uses these and their employees give us about 240 a month from around there. This piece has a thousand filters and it took over 100 hours to assemble. Again, I was there. This is Flavia's third dress and the final dress of the evening. It's called Sheets in the Wind. I guess you know why. It's modeled by Tanisha out of recycled dryer sheets. The accessories from a friend of ours, Jocelyn Chateauvier, a, a Charleston contemporary sculptor who constructs jewelry with the most common and least known material, paper. The ritual of hand paper making is ancient. She makes ancient uh, science and, and structural techniques to form a sinuous jewelry that's very strong. These lightweight pieces actually kind of float on her body and they make sound as they move. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, there you have it. Let's have an encore. Put your hands together. Dick Moon, Leanne Cornegay, and Jane Brazil for the music. We also have Ashley Moore's Tiny Coven with her dance performance. The incredible Al Black and Tamara Miles for the spoken word. We also want to thank uh, the photographers Michael Lewis of Green Antler Photography and videographer Ron Hagel. And as I said, be sure to join us in the lobby. The models will have the dresses on. You can see these things firsthand. Many of the artists are here and they have examples of their artwork that are inspired by these dresses also out there. You'll also be able to see many of these creations for the next few months in the windows of taps outside. Thank you for coming.
coming and supporting art in Columbia, South Carolina. What is this made of? Um, this is made of recycled plastic bags from um, clothing that has been shipped to the to the actual designer. She also used the pop caps from um, Bill Park. How do you feel? I feel amazing. <laughs> I got it. What, what, is, what is on that skirt? So the skirt is, is made out of potty mix bags. It has ramen noodle bags and uh, reusable shopping bags from Food Lion. Oh my god. Amazing. And such <laughs> intricate work from the What's designer. That top? What is that top? <laughs> the hat, also the fascinator is made out of the same material as the skirt. Let me see that. Oh yeah, look at that. What's that on your wrist? What is that? It's a bracelet. <laughs> and I have one here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and I have one on my head. What is in your hair? It's paper. It's paper. Oh, okay. Turn around your head. Reading, do you? <laughs> a little. Oh, look at the chicken. <laughs>
whirl around for me. Well, are these are these bags also? Yeah. Yeah, grocery bags. bags. Let me see the shoulder. The shoulder. Okay, honey. Now you can turn. Let me see them move around. Start turning. Is it warm in all that plastic? Yes. Now turn around for me. Next to her.
Say that again. Mulch ado about fashion. <laughs> You had fun tonight. I did. I got the feeling you had a lot of fun. I had so much fun. It was wonderful. Yeah, it wasn't Good it? Good friends. Yeah. <laughs> yes. So I'm coming up here. Now show me your skirt over here. All oh, right. So they go together. Yeah. They go together. Yes. Closing in on your girl. Uh, I here. thought he was gonna hit. Hello. Hello. So how'd you like it? I loved it. It was great. It's on auto Yay! Yeah, yeah, yeah. yes. What's up, Dick? Corn again. Yes, so uh, this.